If there's anything that can ease the pain of living through this general election it's a Christmas movie. But what makes a great festive film? Writer at large, Neil Mackay, explores how to create a seasonal cinema classic. If you take most Christmas movies to pieces, if you lift up the bonnet and have a poke around in the engine to find out how it all works, you'll find that at their heart they're paying homage in some way to one very old and powerful story, the nativity. There's a child, there's a family, there's a powerful evil Herod-like villain, there are otherworldly creatures, there are gifts, there's the essential power of belief, there's threat, there's love, there's fear, there's poverty, and most importantly, there's hope and redemption. Of course that recipe doesn't work precisely for every Christmas movie. Die Hard, yes, it's a Christmas movie despite what Bruce Willis says, doesn't conform to the nativity template, yet there's still lots of family, redemption, and villains, so the echoes are there nonetheless. But those secret ingredients, that nativity recipe, is deeply embedded in all the Christmas biggies, it's a wonderful life, a Christmas carol, miracle on 34th Street, Scrooged. You'll find traces in all other Christmas movies, even the likes of Home Alone and Gremlins. Children. Apart from the Santa exploitation genre, yes, such films exist, just check out blood-soaked slasher flicks like Black Christmas, or Norway's rare exports, children are at the heart of Christmas movies. You can't have a good Christmas movie without kids. Even films that seem thoroughly un-Christmassy, that mock Christmas, like Bad Santa are driven by children. In Bad Santa, Billy Bob Thornton plays the most despicable department store Father Christmas who's ever lived. He's a robber, a sleazebag, a filthy, shameless drunk. But he's redeemed by the kindness, and intense gullibility, of one little boy, the tubby, half-witted dupe Thurman Merman. Bad Santa has a long line of predecessors. Look no further than the Grinch, a green, hairy fiend so awful that in the 1966 cartoon How the Grinch Stole Christmas he's even voiced by Boris Karloff, the man who gave us the original Frankenstein. Who saves the Grinch? Who makes his heart grow two sizes? Little Cindy Lou Who who was no more than two, that's who. A child saves a monster. It's an eternal Christmas theme. Christmas films which we think are about adults are often actually about children. For me, the big three Christmas movies are It's a Wonderful Life, any version of A Christmas Carol, but especially Alice Does Sims 1951 version, or The Muppets Take on Dickens, and Scrooged. They all share the same cinematic DNA. Seemingly, they all tell the story of a man who's given a second chance at life thanks to the intervention of spirits on Christmas Eve. But actually, each for more on this story, visit the news article link.